There. And then people are like, yeah, there's ties. I'm there's like, Peter! Right. Hello. And there's our first, the banners are there. Put them together. Pete's going to work those. And those are the ones I'm going to work. And we are at... Okay. And we are going to work here at Ocean City today. At our usual spot, 11th Street. And there it is. Woohoo! That's what he says, but I don't believe that. You heard about oh. Patricia Steer leaving? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. That. I see. I just think if you're a true flat earther, you don't ever let no. go of it. So what the heck? Well, she just can't handle the heat. I I don't know. She right in the fire though. Yeah. No, well, she wasn't putting out any content. She was just an interviewer. She's not really a an instructor, a teacher, yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. And none of them did any outreach. That's right. Don't they don't that, to, they don't love humanity. And right. when you don't love humanity, there's something wrong with you. You don't know. You don't know what you don't know. That's the problem here. If you knew some of this, I can tell you three things right now that'll blow your mind. Okay, go. I'm ready. Okay, this is the where's the flat earth map? Here it is. I rearranged them on the other ones. The North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. Yep. And all these world organizations, like the United Nations, they all use a flat Earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. Okay. They don't want you to know that it goes around the outside Why edge. Not? Because then you would know that the oceans are held in and they don't flow over the disk that they use to mock us. Yes, this, this place we live was created by some ancient something. Sure. I don't know what. Sure, sure, sure. Okay? So, um, here's Polaris. Yep. And these are star trails. You hold yep. the aperture open of your camera and you yeah, get star yeah. trails. Yep. Okay? This is what they teach in school. Where is it? See, I use my other banners. and Oh, here it is. This is what they teach in the schools. Right. The sun's moving, the Milky Way's moving, all right. the planets are moving, right. everything's rotating. Right. So do you think with that, you would get that over thousands of years? Uh, wait, what? Get a circle? Get these perfect star trails with none of the constellation, uh, constellations right, right. moving in their relative positions. That's what they're teaching us. What else? Ah, perspective. The sun is small. And it's very close. Yeah. My personal opinion is yeah. it could be within 10 miles, but it's very small and it's not hot burning gases. Gotcha. It's more like a filament because there's free flowing electricity up there. Nikola Tesla proved that. They, a lot of people know that. So perspective says the sun does not go down around the curve. It just goes away into the vanishing line because there's only two planes, the sky and the ocean. Okay, so it goes into the vanishing line. It does not go around a curve. Did you ever notice when there's like cumulus clouds, yeah. they kind of step down? Yeah. Okay, you never see them like the bottom. Right. So they're not going around anything. And we have cameras. He has a P1000 camera. We, last night we were in Wildwood. We were watching Atlantic City, 32.6 miles away. That's like a 68 story building. It should be down yeah. and it's not. Did you guys watch the Netflix documentary on Flat Earth? The Behind the Curve? Yeah. Well, we have a lot of problems with that. <laughs> because we Cause think, we think that they were not, they, they were not. It was I have church though, and I don't want to be rude. Oh, awesome. So I wanna, I this is my church. Call. Okay. This, I'll be back through. Two, yeah, and I have some scripture for okay. you. Okay, dokay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I need to have my cards. Yes, I have to wear this.
because I have my cards. That guy was really open. That's good. Just the hey. Yeah. And you be called stupid. How stupid can you be already? That was Okay, one quick question. Who are the intelligent people? Right, right. Yeah, three and things. It's flat. It's flat. There's got to be an end. Okay. There should be, but no one knows. Yeah, it's Antarctica. How could you not know? Well, yeah, Antarctica no, no. goes around Very the cold. edge. That's Very cold. cold. Antarctica yeah, goes around the edge. Cold. Here's our given model but, down here. But that's only one edge. Nope. No, well, that's it all goes around. all the way around. Here, look. Right here's uh, the map. Have you never seen the flat Earth model? North Pole's here's in the center. Right. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. You can get to the North Pole. You go right to the middle, probably. Yeah. There is, and they admit there's no South Pole still, still very cold point. There, but it's like a car speaker. It's Isn't like a car just speaker. As cold as the South Pole? No, wait, not I mean, at all. South we're, we're not. It's not about. It's about electromagnetics. It's not about like cold and hot. But no, I'm saying to get to the edge. You're telling me that it's too cold to get there and possible. No, no, I'm not telling you that. That's the government tells you, you that. To to, last time you've been in Antarctica, have you been there? Here, look at this. Right there, Only that you'll get everything that you have on the web right. on these different pages. Government, military can go there. That's about it. My Hawaii. Earth is flat. Ah, here it is. I was looking for a... A hair thing. I got a hair thing now. Now I'm happy! Okay. Okay. Yeah! Come find out what you don't know! Yeah, you're, you're a know-it-all. I can tell you three things you don't know. They were good. Cool. Yeah, that's good. I can teach you three things you don't know. The horizon will always rise to your eye level. That means it does not curve downward. We do not live on a spinning ball. That's a religion because you are having to believe what they tell you and not know. How can you know, guys? How can you know? We were in Wildwood last night and we were taking films with a P-1000 camera of Ocean City, I mean Atlantic City, 32.6 miles away. That should be down by a 68-story building. It should be hidden. No. Why do you think that? How, what's the equator? What's the size of the equator? So the missing curvature. Twenty-four thousand nine hundred one. That's not. Spherical geometry will give you a calculation for the curvature. It's eight inches times the miles squared. That's the curvature calculation. You go on Earth curvature calculator on the internet, and it will come out with thirty-two point six miles is like a six hundred and eighty-one feet. So there, if that doesn't exist, then we can take pictures oh. at well, that distance. Doesn't really so so those pictures of the rise. Earth were taken with a camera. You guys used a camera, so couldn't you guys just be making it up? We're staying on the Earth while we're taking the pictures. We're not faking it. It's about line of sight. If there's a direct line of sight, a camera can't look over a curve. They have to go through the water. So do you, how, does a, how does a compass work from Australia? Australia's down here. North Pole's here. Does it go through? It's a fake thing. That's Does it go through? It's a magnetic, this is what they believe in. This is what they believe in. You're holding a circle. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, you have it. Like, <laughs> Does it go through? Like, magnetic like fields you now. How many you believe in magnetic fields? I do believe in magnetic fields. You don't. Because well, the magnetic field is caused by the spherical nature of the Earth. No. Yeah, I can disprove field. gravity right oh, now. Right. Okay? Just gravity. Can you jump? Things. Things <laughs> drop. Listen, listen, you're not listening. 
No, I'm listening. Right, I'm listening. What's gravity defined as? A force that pulls down on the earth. No. Pulls to the center of a ball. That's gravity. A force that pulls to the center of the ball. Okay. So if that's true, there should be no natural flat places on earth. Okay. So out, out in the western United States, there was something called the Bonneville Lake. It dried up. Now what do they call it? The Bonneville Salt Flats. Because if the top was curved Wait, with the curvature of the earth, that's what they put on NASA. Come here. Yeah, it's just there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where is it? Here. This is what they have on NASA's website. Which picture did you show me? And which is the size of the United States? That's what they put on NASA's website. I found the definition of gravity. It actually says the force that attracts a body toward the center of the Earth. Center of the Earth. It's a sphere. That's what they're pushing. It has to go to the center. That means that there should be no natural flat places. And we have the, bo the Bonneville Salt Flats. Think. Start thinking. Don't look to defend your religion. Start thinking. This is religion. This is a religion. Yes. This is bullshit. This is a religion. Yes, it is. And you just don't realize it. You are believing something you are told to believe. You can't prove it. Who told us to believe that? No one did. What do you mean by the Bonneville Flats? You don't ever heard of the Bonneville Salt Flats? Up with that name. No. Why does that mean it's driving? Bonneville Salt Flats is where they test all those high speed like rocket cars and stuff. They never tell you that because they don't want you to know. They don't want how do I know? Because I'm a whole lot older than you, even though I don't look it. I'm a lot older than you. And I know because I was like watching all that stuff happening when they were testing those cars. So who are they trying to why are they trying to fool everyone? Because if they can fool us, they can rule us. Do you know can you listen without talking for just a second? Yes. Okay. The kings never wanted the serfs to read. Do you know why? The kings in Europe. They didn't want the serfs to read. Do you know why? A lot of people understand this. It's because educated people are hard to control. So what's the difference between being educated with lies and being uneducated? So why well, the, there's no difference. No. Can you can you think this? No, there's yeah, no yeah, difference yeah, yeah. between knowing a lie and not knowing anything. But how do you know you're right? I know that I have tested things for myself. Can you test it? Yeah, I can go, wait, wait, take wait, wait, you to Wildwood and we can show you Atlantic City. And I have a video on that. If you go you go here to that website, which is on my shirt as well, or it's on the banners. You can take pictures of the banners. You can look up and you'll see everything on here, plus 200 proofs right there. 200 proofs, or if it's not a spinning ball. Wait, what's the difference from a bon the Bonneville, Bonne whatever, flats? Bonneville salt flats. And, and just regular here now. Like, why are you going spe Be specifically to that area? Because here you're gonna say, well, there's curve. And no. Well, what's gotta, the difference from there to there? Here, this is a Las Vegas one, but the, the uh, website's on there. On, you may have that and keep you. it. What if you just keep walking that way? I'm fine. I'm forever. Fine. What's going to happen? Look it up, buddy. Information never hurts you. What's going to happen if you keep walking? take it? it is, if it's false it's information. Yeah, well, really that's false where you apply the scientific method and you figure out which is true. There are two models. There's a heliocentric yeah. model. And there's a flat earth model. Now you yeah. have to figure out what is true. So what happens when you walk off the edge? Yeah. The edge is yeah. this right here. Where is it? Oh, here. This is the edge. Antarctica. The center is the North Pole. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. What happens when you go outside? That's, I just need the car. That's the way it works. How you doing? What happens when you go outside? I'm great. You ever heard of this? No. Oh, I yeah. ask a question. What's outside that? See, so here's the website. So if you, there's a okay. question that I don't answer, you can look it up on the website. Yes. What happens if you just keep walking that way forever? You end up in Antarctica. That, that's where you end up because anything away from the North Pole is south. So like, what if you just keep going if it's flat? Well, we draw you a box. If you just walk right out of the box. What happens? Okay, so you can't walk out of the box because we can't go and free explore Antarctica. Ever since Admiral Byrd did his explorations in Antarctica, it's been closed off to any free exploration. It's now wait. You can't do that. It's militarily controlled. So you're telling you me, don't, you excuse me, can just buy a plane? The government knows it, but we can't go as common people. 
They know, okay? Oh, I'm not a congressman. Look, I have a plan. Look, I've done it. Good. <laughs> then go there and do that. And if you know it all, then you can just go on your merry way and believe what you choose. I'm not here to argue with you. Like but you look up the Antarctic Treaty. Look it up. Think that the moon's round? Does the moon exist? Is that real? Yeah, what's your opinion? Well, I don't think we can land on it. I don't think it's a rock. What is I think it? the moon is more like a uh, filament. There's free flowing electricity. Tesla proved that. Have a good day, guys. And and it it, it kind of lights up because of the electricity. That's cool. And the sun could be very close. It's small and it's more like a filament. They're both different filaments, like an anode and a cathode. Do you do this for attention? Like is this like control? Are you like trolling? Look, I'm a little older than you. But in my day, I got all the attention I need. And I still get attention from unwanted men. Okay? So don't tell me I need attention. Yeah. If you want to think and ask me a thoughtful question, hey, I'll be happy to talk to you. Our member, our, uh, does your organization include members of the scientific community? Our organization? Are you part of an organization? No, I'm okay. doing this by myself. Okay. okay. But uh, we have a website okay. where free people can you know, join okay. that. Okay. And uh, we have a lot of um, outreach people who are like on that website, although we're not organized. We all do our own thing. Okay. I, uh, I came down here three times last year, and I'm here now this, hopefully, okay. hopefully I just, I'll be... I mean, I, I feel like if science has... We'll be back over. Okay. If science has proven... No, but say so that's what you're missing is it. You have to believe what they tell you. And they say, it's proven! And we teach it in the schools. We're indoctrinating little children. If you saw a globe when you were in kindergarten on the teacher's desk... Would you question her and say, how can, the, how can I prove curvature, teacher? No, because you don't know. No, but what I'm trying to say is it's more than just someone who's been trained as an educator. I'm talking about people who have been trained in geography, who have been trained in yeah. astrophysics, who have been trained in things yeah, that a lot. neither of us I, I'll give you the clue in. here. Some people know and some people don't. It depends on your level. And, and there's compartmentalization. I knew a guy who worked for Lockheed Martin. And he said, well, I could tell you this project I'm working on, but I'd have to kill you. See, this is the kind of thing they pass around. They indoctrinate their employees to not speak about their projects. So in the one department doesn't know what the other one's doing. And they can't, like, meld their information together. They're only, like, working on a little piece. It's like a puzzle. They have a little piece of it. They can't see the whole picture. So some of them are brainwashed like that. Some of them know. Some of them are getting paid more. Would you give up a cushy job, a hundred and some thousand a year? No, but I, I'm, I, what I'm saying is, I think that there's a strong body of, of science that says that the Earth is round, and I try to be open to all opinions. But I mean, I don't know how you can reject decades, okay, hundreds of years of science. Two years ago, two, two more than two years ago, I looked into this. Somebody said we never landed on the moon. I said, "What? You're crazy!" I saw it on TV. I, I'm that old. I'm 63. So I saw it on TV, and I'm there. It had to happen. They wouldn't do that. I looked into it. You can't land on the rock. It's not a rock. It's not a rock. You cannot land on them. And so many crap. Look at what they do. Here. Uh, bubbles in space. Here. The bubbles in space. And it, look up Capricorn 1. That's an old movie. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. And saw Logan's right. Yeah, we have um, uh, bubbles in space. The videos of air bubbles going up in astronauts' helmet. How does that happen in a vacuum of space? No, they're in the frickin' pool. They are lying to us and deceiving us, and all you have to do is watch that video, which is on that website, and they'll give you 200 proofs. And what you don't understand, like uh, perspective, you're gonna have to study that. It took me two weeks trying to get that into my head. Okay. My dad was a math teacher, my son physics major. Okay. So I'm not stupid, you know, I can grasp these, con don't let the blonde hair fool you. <laughs> it was nice talking to you. Hey, have Take a good care. day. You have Is a question? Real? You bet. That's crazy. You just have to think about some of the evidence. Yeah. And then you'll you're like, what? It takes a while. It, you'll never get it today unless you're really open-minded. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is uh, here. The North Pole's in the center. No, it's fun. I get it. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. I get it. And what, you just enjoy, like, informing people? Or? I love humanity. Yeah. That's why I'm here. You think I'm here? Why? I, I love... I don't know. That's why I'm here. Uh, okay, I want everybody... It's like freeing the slaves. That's why I'm here. I want to free the slaves. I got the key for us to all say, we're not doing this anymore. Yeah. I hate lies. 
And that's why I'm fighting the lies. Well, good luck. Yeah. Did you go to the website and no, uh, look I, it up? No, I... I'm pretty well informed. And I've, uh, I've looked into it myself. Right? No, you haven't. Yeah, have. If you're going to Flat Earth Society, that's a government-controlled operation. Oh, no. No. Yeah, you haven't... Yeah. Controlled. They got to the Flat Earth Institute? Well, you oh, don't know what you don't know, unless you really look into it. Oh, you got a card. Good for you. I did get a card. That's good. Yes. Yeah, Adam I takes all the girls. So, yeah. What, you what do you have a question? These oh, no. oh. don't exist. What? what about the thing with lizard people? Do you see lizard people on my banners? No. Okay, then I'm not going to address that. Okay. I'm not even going to address where this came from. I'm not even going to address the dome, really, or I, I'm not going to address some things. I'm just here to give you some information. You have to decide for yourself. All right. Okay? Thanks. I'll, I'll take a question or point to any of the pictures and I'll explain it. So I'm not here to, like... Kind of like throw a okay. point or something, but like, so about the other planets in our system, what is your like idea on those being spinning balls? And all we can see through a telescope is a two dimensional object. So you see a circle up there, except for Saturn, you see one with little slits in it. I don't know really know what that is. But they're points of light. They used to be called, they're only for a hundred years have they been called planets. Before that, they were called wandering stars. So, what are the stars? They're points of light. Did you ever see a video called Star in a Jar? No, it's not. It's sound waves directed at a fluid, and in the center of that, a light will form. There's a lot with magnetics we're not being told, and sound waves, and vibration, and energy, and all that. Look, study into Tesla, and a lot of things will, like, open up for you. Gotcha. I'm somewhat of a uh, quantum mechanic physicist. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, I've, I've been yeah. That so you know about the super chill disc that will per go in perpetual motion following a track? Yes. That's what we think kind of like the sun and the moon are doing. Gotcha. Very interesting. Yeah. Because you can put it in any position. So I don't even know what shape the sun and moon are, you know. They could be like a bowl shape. It, there's a lot of things to it we don't know. But I do know the surface is flat. All right. Very interesting. Yeah, last night we were down in Wildwood, and he has a P-1000 camera. We were taking shots of uh, Atlantic City. And we could see uh, the Ocean Casino, but then down to the left we saw a row of lights. And uh, that's got to be, like, maybe, I don't know, really close to the ground. I, I, it's just awesome. No, I'm not giving away shirts. And I did my girly thing to this one, see? I like it. I like yeah, it. thank you! Wait, I have a question. Was there a time where you did think that the Earth was a spot? Yes, for 61 years, so I believe this. No, what, what, what piece of information changed Somebody it? told me... I'll show you that in a second. This one? Who, who told oh, you this? Oh, you want to hear this one? Who told you? All right, somebody told, told me... You? No, but who was it? Was it just a rant, like the internet? No, a guy like a who owned a computer software company. Okay. And he says so like to me, he's a friend of mine, and uh, he says to me, you know, they say we didn't land on the moon. I'm there, what? You're crazy. And I looked into it. I have a curious mind. I'm a truth seeker. Okay. okay. So that's a sign of intelligence, looking into things, oh, you know. absolutely. I yeah. So if you just walk away from this and don't look into it, then I don't I know what to say. Yeah, we got cars. You're good. That's awesome. So this, I believe we live in a torus field. You know what that is. So it's electromagnetic. And okay. the Earth is in here kind of like this. Okay. okay? Oh, this flat. is the aurora borealis at the North Pole. Yeah. The electromagnetic force comes up and it like spirals around. And so it, I believe it's also warm at the North Pole. Have you ever been there? No, Are but we have ongoing? ancient... I'm going wait, off no, ancient wait, writings. Wait, really I'm just well, saying I believe no, this but, part. But are you like you should go and see if it is, and well, you, you prove your theory right they, or wrong. Nobody's allowed to fly over the North Pole or the South. Well, you don't have to fly over it to see if it's warm. You just have to get there. But how are you going to do that if they protect it militarily? Because you could take a flight to somewhere. No, nearby you can't fly over it. I'm telling you. Somewhere nearby and then drive there. Well, go see if I'm, wait, wait, I'm, is, I'm, the is there something on the bottom? Of the and I, and I have no idea. The deepest hole that was ever dug was eight miles. So so wait wait did is there a bottom of the flat earth or just the top? yeah there has to be I guess but I've never seen it don't so, know anything about so no, it so we're just on the top I, that's all I'm here just to show you the evidence for the top what are they saying Kelly okay all right, hold on. have a good day girls yeah, I gotta head back all right to good to so meet much. you Marilyn nice to meet you, thanks.
The Earth is a flat plane. Come and find out what you don't know. Horizon is always at your eye level. That means it does not dip down. On top of Mount Everest or in an airplane seven miles high, it's always at your eye level. I have a good question here. Do you ever hear this? Are you serious? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So you have to look into things. You have to have a curious mind. Really? You scientists will come here. I'll tell you three things you don't know. Three things. So you don't want to know what you don't know. That's not scientific. You're rejecting evidence. The horizon is always at your eye level. It does not dip down. The earth is flat. Imagine that. Come and find out what you don't know. So you can take this with you and look it up yourself and decide for yourself. Decide for yourself. Is it flat? Find out what you don't know. It's a circle. Stop and find out what you don't know. Do you ever hear this? The horizon is always at your eye level no matter how high you go. No matter how high, on the top of Mount Everest. How you doing? I wish you would tell me a secret. Well, come here, I'll tell you. You won't. Oh, come here, I will. Earth is flat, buddy. The Earth is flat. It's not a spinning ball. The Earth is flat. It's not a spinning ball. This is for real. Do you know what? I'm going to look and see. French bird peanuts. How much are these? They don't tell you. Oh, five bucks. Be living, giving undone. Live and let die. Live and let die. Five seventy-five. Holy cow! Red pills. Ooh. Jersey cherries. Two seventy-five for a quarter pound. A red, I need something in a red wrapper. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe these chocolate things. I have to see if this will work. A red pill or a blue pill? Ooh, and I like coconut. That might work. $17.99 a pound. How many do you get for that? Like a cup or a, what? You get 40 in a pound? For a pound? 40. I might hit more people than that today. I'm, I'll think about that. Thank you. Hey, 
Okay, the earth is flat, guys. Earth is a flat plane. Come find out what you don't know. Earth is a flat plane. The horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go. It does not dip down. We do not live on a spinning ball. Come find out what you don't know. Yeah, that's good. Earth is a flat plane. The horizon is always at your eye level. There's a curvature formula. Earth is a flat plane. Horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go. Jerry, here it is. Yeah? That's not nice. Hi there. Earth is a flat plane. Horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go. Come find out what you don't know. The government would never lie to you, would they? Oh my. I can tell you three things you, I guarantee you don't know. I guarantee it. Horizon is always at your eye level. It never goes down. Earth is a flat plane. It's a product of perspective. Earth is a flat plane. That's your religion. Earth is a flat plane. It never dips down. The horizon's always at your eye level. Earth is a flat plane. Horizon's always at your eye level. The earth is a flat plane. It's always at your eye level. The horizon never dips down. What do you think, guys? You ever hear this? You can look it up on your own. Yeah, it is. Come and find out what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. No, I'm not. I'll tell you three things that you don't know. The earth is not flat. I guarantee I can tell you three things you don't know. Think about it. I'll get me on the way back. Yeah, the uh, horizon is always at your eye level. Proves the earth is not a spinning ball. It's not a spinning ball. Getting a lot of laughs today. And nobody wants to challenge their mind. No, I, I want to. All right. Thank you. You have to ask a question now for that. So, Come on. Why is you can't take my picture and not. Flat? Come here. Here you go. Okay. So. This is the flat earth map that we have, the best one. North Pole's in the center, Antarctica goes around the outside edge. This is what it looks like, and it holds in all the oceans. What's beyond that, I don't know, okay? But I know that far, okay? Now you see all the oceans touch each other, right? Do all the oceans touch each other? So what's the, the surface of the earth is, uh, the water is always flat on the top. Look, here's, where's a picture of that? Here. Water's always flat on the top. It never does this. That is, that's true. Okay, I can, uh, gravity says it's defined as pulling to the center of a ball, right? Yeah. So if it, that's true, then there should be no natural flat places on Earth. That's true. Okay, so the Bonneville Salt Lake dried up, and what did it become? Flat. Bonneville Salt Flats. Did you ever hear of that? The Did you? It's right out that. west. This the is, government is been, lying to yeah. us. Do you know why they're lying to us? They don't like us. Because they don't want us to be educated. Because that's exactly right. Do you know why? Because it's harder to people get educated. educated people then they're hard to control. We start thinking on our own. That's exactly. And then we say we're not doing this anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. So the kings didn't want the serfs to read, and that's exactly why. So we have this video here, 200 proofs. What'd you say? It was so funny. No, stop. Yeah. I mean, I know you have to really think about yeah. this, and it's really a shocking idea, but there's two models, a heliocentric spinning ball or the flat earth model. Now, your job is to find out what's true. I will. Okay, then, then you can go to this website on the bottom there. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. Right, if you think you. of a Have question, stop on the way back. I will. Earth is a, not a spinning ball, it's a flat plane. The horizon always rises to your eye level, proving that it does not curve down. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it? Come back with a question that you're thinking. Prove to me that you can think. Can anybody think? Can they really use their brain? Let's think about this. I can promise to tell you three things you don't know. Can anybody think in this town? Did you give up the, the ability to think? I'll tell you three things you don't know. Okay, this is the best flat earth map that we have. North Pole's in the center. What's your theory? The earth is flat. North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. And all these world, the world organizations use the flat earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. They don't want you to know that. So you're that. saying the earth is flat? Yes, sir. You're insane. No, I am scientific. You are not scientific, you are insane. No, I'm showing you evidence and you're rejecting that without investigating You've it. You've not seen... Oh, I have not seen what? Uh, images from space? Look, look. Do you see these? This is right on NASA's somebody, website. How do I text somebody using an orbit, a satellite, on the other side? That's of the, the religion you've been taught. And what is your religion? My religion is truth. I look at the evidence. I research it. You have not. You have really? Not it. Because you are you indoctrinated. Two years ago, I was just like have you. Have you seen images? Yes. From space? Yeah, like this. From space? Yes. Yeah. You yes. know what images are? Yes. Computer generated. Computer generated. That's they admit it. They admit it. Have you seen satellites? I've used telescopes to, to yeah, see Yes, I've seen satellites, satellites on, on the weather around, balloons. Around the, the biggest Earth. purchaser of helium. No. Have you climbed 15,000 foot mountains? It does not matter how high you go, the horizon's always at your eye level. You, I have pictures of the curvature of the Earth. No, that's from a GoPro camera. I, with my eyeballs, I looked at no. it. No. I looked at what it. What you see I is your, your field of vision, which is circular, and your mind told you that must be the curvature. You are insane. Really? How do you waste That's your time? That's not nice. How do you waste your time? Okay. Do you know what insane You know what's really bullshit. insane? You not even looking at evidence. This is what That's it looks the height like. of ignorance. I've had my evidence. No, that's the height of ignorance. I've been up that high. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. And where like. was the horizon? 15. Tell me where feet the horizon up. was. That's what you see. No. That's what you see. You I can't see over. You it. cannot see that. Because look, here's Australia. Here's the North Pole. Oh, what do you How does it? a compass work? How does a compass work? I've seen the curvature. No, you my have eyes, not. My eyes. You eyes were deceiving you. You, you don't know what you're looking insane. at. Really? Yes, you are. Yeah. Well, you're not looking at and the then evidence. You take this and take this here. Take this oh, and hold oh, it up oh, to the to the ocean. Hey, you ready? Go, Go ahead. ahead. She's insane. What I got? No, she's well, she half part. She's insane. About this stuff, we're in agreement. Are, are you kidding me? No, I'm, I'm with no. you. It's good. It's true. This is unbelievable. Yeah. We drove down. Last night okay, we so were in Wildwood. I, Tell them what we did. So Last night we were in Wildwood and took pictures of right. Atlantic right. City, 32.6 miles away. Why do you push this onto other people? Why is this important? This why is, is this true important because you? I hate lies, number one. So do I. That's why I'm hating this. And I love humanity. It, I'm number hate, two. I hate so lies I tell also. So this is the why truth I hate this to humanity. Pushed. I hate you. We, we, we were in Wildwood. We were in Wildwood. Listen, we have satellites to go around here. Horizon is always at your eye level, proving it does not dip down. Anybody can look at my level and see there is no curvature. No curvature. The Earth is not a spinning ball. The earth is not a spinning ball. 
You can look this up yourself. Is that the website? The Earth is not a spinning bulk. I mean, let me tell you three things you don't know. Is there anybody in this town who knows how to think? Who is not an emotionally driven nut job? Hey, cute puppy. I guarantee I can tell you three things you don't know. And I will not embarrass you. I'm a blonde, right? I don't know anything. <laughs> Horizon is always at your eye level, proving it does not curve down. You can look this up yourself. Does anybody want to think today? The Earth is not a spinning ball, it's a flat plane. How you doing? You look like a man on a mission. Can I tell you three things that you don't know? Yeah, I'm always interested in things that Okay, don't know. this is the flat Earth map that we use. Yeah. North Pole's in the center. Are you saying the Earth is flat or not? Antarctica goes around the outside edge. I'm telling you three things, and you're going to decide that for yourself. No, no, I'm trying to understand where we're coming from first. Okay, so yes. I'm there. showing you the flat Earth model. Uh -huh. You believe in the heliocentric model right now, like I did for 61 years. Now I'm showing you the flat Earth model. Then you have to figure it out. Okay? So here's the North Pole in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. This is what Antarctica looks like. I mean, I've, it holds in the ocean. It's oceans. just that I've been in airplanes and I've, I've yeah, I've, you know, and it's. I just yeah, remember, but what uh, did you see in that airplane? What did you really see? Tell rolling me. landscape. Well, did you uh, did you see the horizon? Was it at your eye level? Did you look straight out the window or did you go look down like that? It's straight out. Which, well, which proves that it's a product of perspective. The perspective is the two planes coming together. Yeah. Okay, but you have to study that. It took me two weeks studying that to get that through my head. So you think they should be teaching flat earth at school? Well, I went to my school board and I told them so. And they laughed too, just like everybody does. No, no, until they look I, into uh, it. I mean, you have to look you know, into it. You gotta be careful. Don't don't believe everything you think though, right? I studied this for two years. My dad was a math teacher, my son a physics major. Yeah. Don't let the blonde hair fool you. Well, I'm a conceptual theorist, you know, for okay. a living. So I uh, I'm really interested in what you're doing. Here. Awesome. So let me show you. This website uh -huh. will give you everything, two hundred proofs. They'll give you everything on the banners. And then you can study that. You watch that video, and I guarantee you that you won't be able to stop it. And I wrote down everything, and what I didn't understand that I researched. Okay? Well, you guys have a nice day. Thanks, you too. Earth is motionless. How come there's seasons and days? Okay, uh, look, the sun, this is the plane. The sun and the moon, they go around. So they go around. Yeah, there's other planets, but you know that name planet has only been around a hundred years. Before that, they were called wandering stars. Stars are points of light, and that's what we think the planets so you're are. Me, the moon is the sun, which is bigger than the Earth. Wrong. The see now. You are going off of this model, and with this model, you've got a 400 times the size of the Earth, this huge ball of fire, right? With the, the Earth isn't a huge ball of fire. No, the sun you were talking about, darling, the sun. Okay. she said the sun. The sun, bigger, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to give you the flat Earth model, and you have to look at that and decide what's true. Okay, you have to decide for yourself. I can't tell you what to think. I can just give you evidence. So the sun is very small. And it's not fire. It's not burning gases. It's more like a filament. And there's free-flowing electricity up there. And you, you research Tesla, and he will tell you that. Tesla knew all about this free-flowing electricity. It's not funny. I would not lie to you. But Tesla knew there was free-flowing electricity. Uh, right now, it's about 390 feet up. Above what? Right now? Not right now. The sun is 390 feet above us. That's where, yeah. What?
Wait. We'd be dead. We'd yeah. be dead. We, it no, couldn't that way. We wouldn't be dead, but like if you throw if you throw a plane that, 390 feet it's, above we, it's you, within a band. There's a off. band of electricity. It starts at 390. I think the sun is about 10 miles up, but it's very small, and it's like a filament, like a light bulb. Wait, then how does the sun illuminate throughout all of these big like countries and all of these? Big well, there's more to illumination. Yeah, if it's only 10. If it's only 10 miles up, it's okay. not gonna be able to spread. Okay. Like, I'll have to I'll have to show you this. I think we live in a torus field. A torus field is an electromagnetic field of energy. Okay. I know it's too much for him. So look. So the Earth is in here like this. This is where the North Pole is. So your hand's the Earth. Yeah. Hand is the Earth and it's flat. It comes up out of the North Pole and this goes spiraling around. But this excites the elements in the lower atmos. And that's why you got the Aurora Borealis. The what? The Aurora Borealis. What's, what's that? Northern Lights. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah, 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 those things. Yeah. Because the electricity coming up out of the North Pole. Level back. In our best interest. Okay. Wait, so you think the sun is in the North Pole? I think the sun is in here going around. Oh, okay. How does the, how does the bottom of the Earth get the We don't know what that is down there. We don't. We can only, like, guess. We don't know what's... I'm sorry, I don't mean to bump you. She doesn't know what's... We don't know what's be behind uh, Antarctica's edge either. Because of the Antarctic Treaty... Back in the 60s, 1959, they prevented anybody from going there by themselves. It's all so weird. That's so weird. Yeah, it, it is weird. And you just got to think about this. 